Hello everyone, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today's video, I am gonna be unboxing October's BoxyCharm base box. And if you don't know what BoxyCharm is, you have been sleeping on the rock. It's a makeup subscription box and it goes by categories. This is the first category, which is $25 with tax. And let's just go ahead with the BoxyCharm box. Today's, well, not today's, October's BoxyCharm card theme is candy a candy shop as you guys can see it just has candy all over it's obviously associated with halloween because we go trick-or-treating well not we kids do my daughter does now not me but going on to the first item which is the beauty bakery breakfast in bed eyeshadow palette and this palette retails for 38 dollars and the packaging is so cute with the pink and the cookie and the heart waffle but it has saturated mattes with shimmery shadows and let me tell you the names of the shadows are so cute yawning forehead kisses pajamas french doors boo and view messy hair fresh face cuddle cakes and lazy baby those names are just so adorable i had to call it out as soon as i saw it the second item is this luxe brush set i love the bag how it's just black with a touch of rose gold as well as the brushes how they are lavender with the touch of rose gold and it includes five brushes which are a tapered shading brush a blending brush a medium angle brush a larger shader brush plus a brow and lash brush keep in mind these are synthetic and vegan and cruelty free brushes which you can never go wrong nowadays with cruelty free and vegan products again i really love that lavender color touch it's just so beautiful and i always forget to say how much the items retail for this brush set retails for 40 dollars oh and it's decent five brushes for 40 dollars it kind of is expensive but if they're good brushes, they are worth it. Okay, the third item is the Dose of Colors Concealer. The packaging is so simple but cute. This packaging, I've said this before, there's packaging where it just looks really, not looks, yeah, it looks cheap and it feels cheap and this feels, it doesn't feel cheap cheap but I really love this kind of minimalistic kind of look. Um, as you guys could tell right now, this is not my shade. Uh, we're gonna see, well you're gonna see how I made it work and what I think about this. This claims to be a full coverage concealer that could cover your under eyes, dark circles, blemishes, but it's a lightweight blendable concealer. Again, it's obviously not my shade, but we're gonna make it work. The fourth item is the Symbiosis Eye Mask Inside a Cream to tighten and rejuvenate and brighten the delicate eye area. This retails for $90. I was kind of shook when I saw that. I'm like, $90? Are you serious? The thing here, this is the fishy part. When I get my base box items, I tend to research it because I feel like you should always do that. I tried looking it up and I found the website. I really couldn't find any other website that carries this like Ulta or Sephora. But I did find the website. I clicked on it, but the image of the product wasn't there it was just a blank image i'll probably pop it up on the screen so i'm not sure if this really is 90 dollars or they might be scamming your girl the fifth item which is the last item is the ace beauty draw it lip liner duo which retails for 16 dollars the packaging is simple cute pink these are the lip liners i don't know if it's just me but this reminds me of the kylie packaging i swear to you it does the kylie lip liner packaging but so cute pink never go wrong with it now that we went through the five items i received in this box i'm gonna go ahead and tell you the values worth of this october's base box it was worth 211 dollars besides that if you want to go ahead and see what i think about the products and how i created this look with all the items i received in the box then keep on watching the first thing that i'm supposed to try on but i'm not because i already put moisturizer i told it just went over my head but it's the symbiosis eye cream and it says to put it on a dry face and i don't want to go ahead and just wash my face and irritate my face right now but i'll let you guys know how i feel about this because the price it is the amount of little product 
and the fact that I tried searching it up and not a accurate website came out is kind of fishy to me I'm kind of scared to try it but I'll put you guys on about it later on when I do try it moving on to the second and third item which is the eyeshadow palette and the brushes which I'm so excited to try out I feel like boxes always nail it when it comes with brushes and a palette because you don't need to use your own brushes I'm about to try these bad babies out I'm gonna just go ahead and prep my eyes and do all that shenanigans that you guys don't really care about and then we'll get back into the shadows now that i am prepped i am going in with one of my regular brushes because i feel like the brushes they gave are more like blending brushes and i want to kind of go ahead and pack it on and then start blending you know the easy route just do it quickly i am gonna go in with messy hair Next, to go on to my crease, I'm going to go ahead and use Yawning. Out of the four brushes, I ended up using only three out of four. I am debating if I should cut my crease. I feel like I haven't been cutting my crease lately when it comes to unboxing these BoxyCharm videos because it's just less time consuming if the shadow is pigmented, not the shadow, if the shimmer is pigmented, I am most likely not going to cut my crease. But if the shadow does need help, I am probably am going to cut it. I am debating if to go with Boo and View or French Doors. I feel like French Doors is such a cute lavender look. Okay, one thing, one thing I'm noticing right now is that it's not picking up. So now I look crazy with concealer on my eye. I'm gonna try wetting the brush. We're gonna see if spraying my brush helps the shimmer out, which I hope so because. I already had a picture in my head and don't you hate that when you have a picture in your head and then you try to recreate that look and it just doesn't come out that's me right now okay it's kind of working I see it working let's try with my finger Now that I finished with the eye look and finally packed the shadow down and have some tea to tell you guys, kind of annoyed but I'm over it. Let's just move on to the fourth item which is the Dose of Colors Concealer. I'm actually super excited but kind of bummed out at the same time because clearly this looks too light for me. It's just, I think this is the lightest shade. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna uh, try to make this work out. It claims to be full coverage and lightweight when it comes to blending. So we're gonna see if that is true. I'm really terrified because I feel like I could mess this whole look up. I really don't go in with a triangle shape. I just feel like that's just too much concealer for me. And we're just gonna go ahead and start blending. I feel like I should have went in with my concealer because I didn't conceal down here and just use this concealer to highlight. I'm looking a little rough. I think I might just go in with a concealer and try that out because I'm not liking it by itself. Let's just try to use it as highlight instead of a full concealer to conceal my dark circles. My regular concealer concealed my under eye right here better than right here. You could still see some greenish tone. Uh, I really wanted to like this concealer. I don't know if I'm 
I'm tripping or putting too much thought into it. I feel like my right side, maybe your left side, looks more lifted. And this side just looks more like, eh, like just straight forward. And this one looks more like snatched. But we're going to move on to the last item, which is the fifth item, which are the lip liners. I feel like I should just go in with the brown one and do a basic brown nude lip. This is how the lip liner looks by itself. This lipstick matched perfectly with the lip liner. I'm gonna go ahead and start talking about all the products I use, starting off with the first product, which I didn't use, but technically it would have been the first item I used, which is the eye cream. So we're gonna go ahead and start talking about this because it's kind of fishy. I already explained to you guys that I found the page, but the image was blank. So I'm just like, is it really $98? Or are you tricking me? But besides that, I'm not going to use it right now. I'll let you guys know in the comments or in the description how I like this eye mask. The second item were two things. So basically the brushes and the eyeshadow palette. We're going to start off with the brushes. Yeah, let's start off with the brushes. Here are the brushes again. So cute and I just love the lavender look. I actually love the brushes. I am definitely going to use them when it comes to blending. I feel like it blended my eyeshadow effortlessly and I didn't have to like go in with my brush constantly. And there's some brushes that you just have to blend so hard, which you're not supposed to blend that hard when it comes to blending. But either way, these are easy to blend. I love the brushes, no complaints and totally worth it. Happy with this. Moving on to the third item, which is the palette so this is where i had to talk to myself and be like vanessa keep it real and be hard on the product <laughs> okay so i really love the mattes i feel like the mattes blended so easily the shimmer i i kid you not i had to pack the shimmer for over 15 minutes i just had to keep packing it on and packing it on until this is the way it looks honestly on the eye it doesn't look bad at all again it's such a pretty shimmer but you just have to pack the crap out of it even when my brush was wet it still was hard to pack it on besides that let's move on to the fourth item which is the dose of colors concealer i personally wanted to love this item so bad again i don't know if it's because the shade is a shade that is not mine so i really couldn't use it to conceal my whole under eye i basically had to use it to highlight i just feel like this side looks more highlighted compared to this side but that's all i could say about this concealer i just wished it would have been my shade maybe it would have been a whole like game changer i probably would have used this on a daily basis now going on to the fifth item which is the last item are the lip liners i love anything Ace beauty i feel like all their palettes are amazing beautiful stunning um i didn't even know they carry lip liners if i'm being honest uh a little secret of mine i feel like you can never go wrong with lip liners because any lip liner i receive or bought i end up loving all the time and you will always have a liner to go with a lipstick so that's a plus moving on to this month's box to see if it's a pass or it wasn't a pass realistically do i really love this box um i wasn't over the moon with this box but i do enjoy the products i receive again it was worth my money that's about it for this base box from october it was a pass for me i wasn't so hyped up but it does passes but if you enjoy these videos and you enjoy my BoxyCharm videos, please let me know. But give it a like, subscribe for more content, and thank you for watching, everyone. Bye!